The security is like literally just walking past by. I've got a camera on myself. Huh, this is so embarrassing. Morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel. It's currently 10 45. Just got to pack fair. As you guys saw before, I went and got my nails fixed. I thought I would start another vlog today because I have a really fun couple of days coming up. I'm heading to Sydney on Friday. This morning, I've just got to head into the shops and pick up some last minute things. So that's all done before I go. I will be in Brisbane all day tomorrow with Kayla at her mask class. I'm going to be the model. So I'm going to take you guys along with me to that. I need to find some shoes for the wedding because I still have no idea what shoes I'm going to wear with my gown. So yeah, I will see you guys in there. Alrighty guys, I'm home now. I did pick up a couple of packages as well while I was out. So I will get around to show you guys that. I did also pop in a price line and pick up a couple of things. So I thought I'd just show you them quickly. I got the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser. I've heard really good things about this. I literally usually just buy my face washes from Mecca. And then I was like the other day, why am I spending... 60 70 dollars on face washes when they don't even really do anything for your skin especially the ones i use anyway i feel like you're literally just using it to cleanse your skin i'm happy to like spend money on moisturizers and eye creams and that kind of thing but yeah i was like it's a bit unnecessary for me to be spending like 60 70 dollars every time on face washes i mean this isn't really interesting but i just got some razors as well and then i also picked up some lashes i got the idel foaming wispies just look like that. I haven't actually used these particular ones before. And then I just got my usual Eyelure Gimme Gimme lashes, which I cut these in half. And these are what I use like all the time um, when I'm doing like full glam. So got those. From the post office, I had a package from Age, which this dress is actually like one of their older pieces. I actually picked up the last size six that they had store wide. I'm guessing someone must have returned it or something. Hopefully there's no marks or anything on it. It doesn't look like there is. This is size six, yeah. It's giving very Sophia Richie. It's just like this mini dress. It's linen. The material is amazing. And I just love the gold detailing on it. Age is obviously like a very high end, um, not very high end, but a more high end um, expensive kind of brand. But I am happy to pay for their stuff if it's either a special occasion or if it's something I could wear you know, a few times. And I'll definitely get a lot of wear out of that. I'll bring it with me to Europe. I've got a package here from Naked Wardrobe, which is super exciting. There's like three packages within this one package. I go to for like winter essentials. I've got these chocolate brown ribbed leggings. And I've got a little matching top for it. I'm gonna have so much mess everywhere. I just got this like high neck top which i thought would look really cute with it it's literally like skims but for clothes and i also got these white like leather leggings long sleeve black bodysuit it's just one of those ones i feel like this is really in right now like the really wide kind of like shoulder i don't know how to explain it but i don't know if you guys can see like the very like square neck vibe and it also has clear gel inserts which is nice so then it won't fall off oh this is stunning so i got this black long maxi i got it in a size small so i think it should fit perfectly this is the matching top that i got for the pants just like a bandeau style faux white leather that actually might go well with like the white point toe shoes that i got sorry i didn't get them i tried them on but i was like to the girl 
Um, if you guys still have heaps of sizes left, I might just like work out what my outfits are going to be for Sydney and then come back on Thursday. And she said they had heaps. So I ended up just ordering, um, you guys would have seen I tried on the chocolate brown point toe shoes. They probably look black on camera, but they're not. They're chocolate brown. So I had to order them um, from the warehouse and they're just sending it straight to my hotel in Sydney. So... Yeah, I don't know. But I'm now I'm like, should I get the white? I don't know. Anyway, all right. Oh, I love these. This material is so soft. So I got these charcoal gray leggings right here. This is the top that I got to match. It's going to look really weird off, but it's like a super slouchy, like one shoulder top. Honestly, what is, oh, okay. This is an off the shoulder black dress. Oh, maybe I'll bring this with me. I don't know. This is just like, a black off the shoulder maxi. Please look at the state of my floor right now. Brie, what do you have to say about all this? What do you have to say about all this mess I've created? Heated up one of my chef good meals. I decided to go back on the chef good, especially like before I go overseas, just so I can really keep track of my cows. This one's got 382 cows in that one meal which is amazing i've just pulled out james's salmon from the fridge i'm gonna let that get to room temperature and i'll show you guys what i'm making for him for his dinners for the rest of the week it's gonna make james's dinner now this is gonna be the easiest meal ever i don't have the energy for anything else because i don't really feel too good at the moment so i'm just putting some cajun seasoning on top i'm gonna spray it with a little bit of oil salmon's already quite like a oily fish anyway so you don't need too much i actually probably sprayed a bit too much that's fine i'm just gonna put a little bit of this on each side i don't really need too much because most of the flavor is gonna come from the sauce that i'm gonna make in a second now i'm just gonna prep the broccolini which again super simple literally just gonna wash this and chuck it on um, a baking tray a little bit of oil on top and then salt and pepper and then it just goes straight in and then pepper and then just add some salt the sauce on top is super simple but it tastes so good so it's basically just equal parts light mayo and sweet chili sauce try and use light sweet chili sauce if you can i just didn't have any left at my coal so Try and find it though if you can. I don't really ever measure anything unless I'm following a recipe. So I kind of tend to just, I don't know, eyeball everything. And if I need to add more of anything, I'll add more. And then I also just add a little bit of sriracha on top. Oh shit. All right, this one's just falling apart, lovely. Now I'm just going to pop in the broccolini. And there we have it. So this is just a really quick 20 minute dinner idea. Um, perfect for meal prep. And a row. This personally helps me so much with my dark circles and just like brings that life back into my eyes. It's like took our face with a lymphatic drainage massage. Morning guys, so it's currently 10 a.m. on Wednesday. I'm gonna head over to Brisbane soon with Sophia. I can't remember if I mentioned it yesterday, but I'm gonna be the model for Kayla's masterclass. Sophia is gonna come with me for the day. And then tonight we're gonna go check out like a Middle Eastern Lebanese restaurant called Babylon, Babylon, which is on Eagle Street in Brisbane. So that should be really good. I've heard good things about that restaurant. So I'm gonna take her out for dinner after. This is what I'm wearing today. So the bodysuit is from Opoly, it's so comfy. Um, my pants are white fox, shoes, I'm sorry, my LV pool slides. This cardigan is Opoly as well, but it's honestly so old, like this came out during COVID. So I don't know if they still have it, but you can literally get like the same thing on Skims. Um, wearing my Dior bag. I've also got my bag packed here so that we can go get some content after. I need to pack some Panadol as well, cause I actually have a bit of a headache right now, so. 
that's not the vibes. So we're having a bit of malfunctions. Makeup is done. We are just at Babylon, Babylon. Ready to eat the house now. You guys can't tell on camera, but this guy looks so nice right now. We just have some asapa and some tabula, which looks very different to like normal tabula that I have. There's no like tomato or anything in it, so I'm not sure. It's just like a plate of greens. Yeah. Well, I guess that's tomato, but yeah. it's like, I don't know, it's different to what I usually have, but hopefully it's good. And then we yeah, got the asapa. Morning guys, it is actually Thursday today. Um, as you guys saw this morning, I went and took food for a walk. The weather is actually incredible. Even though it is getting really, really cold, it's actually really hot in the sun. So I'm actually gonna head to the pool right now and just tan for a couple of hours. And basically for the rest of the day, I just need to pick up some packages from the post office. I actually ordered a new phone, so that's at the post office waiting for me. And also, I need a pack for Sydney because we're leaving tomorrow. I'm really happy we're not leaving until um, the afternoon because then I have time tomorrow to like get last minute things that I need to get. And I won't need to be in as much of a rush today. But I actually didn't really get much footage yesterday at the masterclass. Um, I just didn't really like want to be pulling my camera out, obviously, like while she was doing my makeup and there was like other people watching that had paid to like watch her masterclass. Like I didn't want to make it about my vlog. She did such a good job with my makeup. She's actually going to be doing it on Saturday for the wedding that I'm going to. This is my little fit for the pool. I've got my swimmers on underneath. They're actually just like triangle swimmers, but I've tied them so that they're like a bandeau because... I went in the sun the other day for a couple hours and I got the worst tan line and I want to try and get rid of that today as much as I can. Okay. I don't know if you guys can hear, there's a dog over there going crazy. This dress that I'm wearing is from One Mile. Very nice. I actually chucked it in the dryer because it was way too long for me. I feel like now it's like the perfect length. Hey boo. Guys, those dogs, there's like two dogs in there. I'm guessing they're on their own. And they must get like anxiety when the owner leaves because they just bark all day. Look at how incredible the day is today. There's not one cloud in the sky. Um, the water in the beach is so nice and calm as well. I don't know if you guys can see through. I can still hear those fucking dogs barking. Just heading. Well, I'm gonna go to the post office now. Um, I've got to pick up some packages and also go to Jazz's studio to try on some dresses last minute um, for the wedding because he said that another girl tried the dress on that I was going to be wearing to the wedding and unfortunately it hasn't come back in yet. So I'm gonna choose another dress today and then if it does arrive tomorrow before we leave, I'll just have to bring this dress back and then pick the actual one up that I wanted to wear if that makes sense. She does have another super similar dress there, but it's just a little bit like lower at the front, so more of my boobs are out. So I'm just gonna have to like make it work. If the other dress doesn't get back tomorrow, but I do obviously. Um, we'll need a backup just in case, obviously. So I'm gonna go and try on some more dresses, but it's fine because I do need to go to DHL as well, and that's like right around the corner from the studio. I'm back home now. I have just been running around like a headless chicken for the past couple of hours. I went and picked up my dress from Jazz, which is in this bag. I got into a photo of the one that I ended up going with. Rems was actually there as well, and she gave me this bag. Um, 
What should I give it to me? She's letting me borrow this bag to wear with a dress. I put it on with it and it looks so cute. Like it's literally the smallest bag ever. I was from Colt Gaia. Uh, it does look really, really good with a bag. I obviously don't really need to bring much though. Like it's a wedding. Um, I'm going to be having fun and like dancing and stuff. Then I've got a package from the Iconic. Okay, I've been hearing a lot of things about this like radiance booster apparently it's better than the hollywood flawless filter and it looks better on its own apparently so i'm excited to give this a go i got it in the shade tan glow i wasn't sure what color to get i mean it's it's kind of hard to like get stuff online but got that and then i also got the underglow blurring primer because i was like fuck i'm paying for shipping i may as well and they also chucked in orders above a certain price get this um baked highlighting powder for free Looks like that. I also did pick up the church dress that I got from um, Hiring Outfit on Instagram. This is a dress I'm gonna be wearing to church on Saturday. I am just gonna wear the same like point toe shoes that I ordered from Tony Bianco. I have also got a package from PLT, Gemma Owen collection. So I got this top, which is gorge. I'm gonna try all of this on for you guys as well because um, I also need to know like which ones I'm going to bring with me. But I also got, as I said, the matching skirt. I think I got that in a size 8. Yeah. Oh no, I got it in a 6. I also got this maxi right here, which is a little bit see-through. But they did send me um, like a bikini that I can wear under it. It's like a triangle one. They sent me this dress as well, which is like full see-through too. But again, I can wear the bikini under it. And then I did also pick up my phone as well. I'll show you guys that after I try all of this stuff on because I actually am really intrigued to see especially how the church dress fits on me. Otherwise, I'm going to be stressed. Here is the church dress on. I feel like the video just doesn't do it justice. It's such a cute, like, different dress. My hair's going to be in a high bun too. But yeah, I feel like on video it just doesn't do the dress any justice. Um, I have this bag as well that I showed you guys in one of my last vlogs. I feel like it will, I feel like it goes perfectly though with like the silver detailing. Yeah, I'm definitely glad that I didn't size up in a skirt. Otherwise, um, it literally would have been halfway down my bum. But this is that two piece set on. So I've got the top and the skirt in a size UK6. This is so gorgeous. I wouldn't mind if the skirt was like here though. I mean, what do you mean? This is actually so freaking nice. Oh my gosh. This dress is freaking stunning. I wish that the top section had a little extra layer of fabric um, because it is a little bit see-through. But I actually love this. It's super light, super flattering. Very like Greek goddess vibes. I'm definitely not going to try on the long sleeve just because I know that that's definitely not going to come with me. I thought I'd put you guys down a little bit lower. I just chucked a random skims dress on. Um, but I got my new phone. So I thought I would do a little unboxing for you guys. I always find these really like satisfying. Uh... I decided to go with black this time around. I just love how sleek it looks. I've always been like a gold iPhone girl. But I don't know. I feel like the gold ones recently just haven't been hitting. I feel like the black is just so sleek and timeless. And it'll go with... My laptop so Ta -da, here she is i'm not going to use it until tomorrow when i get a glass screen protector for it and a phone case for some reason i feel like it's more square than the old one and the cameras look a lot bigger too i, know, I feel like i was a little bit um anticlimactic but that's all right it also obviously comes with like the charger hey honey how are you, my sweetie? Every time I take my suitcase out, she just knows that I'm going to be going away. I feel so bad. It's okay because she'll be getting a lot of cuddles from Sophia this weekend. I just started packing. So I've basically got in like all the clothes that I need. I don't know what jacket I'm going to wear to the... What's it called? The wedding? Like the reception? Actually, I might bring that big black coat. Let me try and somehow retrieve this. Oh shit. Actually die if there's like a spider up here or something. So, oh. so yeah, I think I'm just going to bring this coat here for the wedding. It's from PLT. If you guys can see, it's very dark in here, but it's just like a fluffy black long coat. This will match perfectly with my um, 
gown that I'm wearing for my jacket um, just for like my everyday outfits. I'm going to bring this um, into the airport tomorrow. It has gone really cold and I don't want to get sick from like the change of weather. So I need to make sure that I keep warm this weekend. While I'm here, we may as well choose my perfume that I'm going to wear this weekend. My heart tells me to just wear Carolina Herrera Good Girl. I think I'm going to go with that. But also I've got... I've actually got so many perfumes. This one's really nice too. I haven't worn this in ages. It's definitely a lot sweeter than the Carolina Herrera one. Um, I don't know. I really don't know. I'm just going to bring this because it's trusty and it's such a nice like evening scent. I am actually going to film like a um, how I pack for traveling video. Usually I do use packing cues, but because it's such a quick trip, I don't really think I need to. Yeah, heaps of you guys were requesting to see like a pack with me for Europe and like to give you guys ideas of what to bring. Morning guys, so today is the day that I am leaving for Sydney. I did the heatless curls on my hair last night and they turned out so well. I wish they looked like this um, the day of Kayla's event. I feel like my curls are super tight that day, but this is literally just perfect. If anyone's wondering why my skin looks so dark, I actually decided to put um, like fake tan on my face and do like the fake tan contour. So I literally just put it on the areas where I'd usually contour. And I also put it on my nose and I feel like my nose looks too dark. Honestly, in real life, it does look a little bit ridiculous. This morning, I'm just going to head to the gym. And then I really want to get a new foundation from Sephora, the Makeup Forever um, HD Skin one. I've heard really good things about that. I do wish that I bought it during the sale, but you know, that's fine. I really want to find like a good new foundation. I've heard really good things about the YSL All Hours foundation, but you can't really get that in store anywhere. So the color matching thing kind of like freaks me out because I actually need to know like what color I need to get. You know what I mean? This is what I'm wearing to the gym today. Um, this set is from Copshop Boutique. I've also basically finished packing. The last things that need to go in is just my makeup bag and my skincare bag. I feel like the suitcase I'm bringing is way too big, but that's all right. The more room, the merrier. Hey, sweetie. She's like, who the hell are you talking to? I love you so much. Oh, she thinks we're going for a walk because I've got my gym clothes on. She's just like ready for me to say the word, but I'm not going to say it because I want to trigger her. I love you. I love you. Alrighty guys, so I just finished up at the gym. I also went to the shops after I got a new case, screen protector and camera protector for my new phone. I'll show you guys what I got from Sephora. I actually also got my Beauty Loop box. So I'll show you guys what I got in it. Um, so they gave me a little mini, the Tarosa 62, which I'm actually pretty sure I tried this on. Just or is it the one I have at home already? I don't know. They literally have so many different numbers of this. I can't even keep up. Guys, this is a really good like mini to have and just chuck in your bag. Brio Gio Color Me Brilliant Color Protect Primer. That's cool. Cultured Serum. Isle of Paradise Self Tanning Drops. We also have this perfume sample from Floral Street. I've actually smelled a few of their scents before and I really like them. To be honest, I don't really love beauty loop boxes sometimes because I don't really like having 
samples of stuff. I've got another one of my Kosas concealers. This is in the shade 5W. Um, ran out of that one. And then I also saw that they restocked the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm in the shade Brown Sugar. I actually really rate that. I feel like that's like the nicest lip balm that I've put on. Because I always buy these like tinted lip balms and like lip stains and stuff but I feel like all the colors I get are always too red but this one literally looks like my lips but better it was $40 um I'm not sure when lip balm started costing an arm and a leg but here we are um, I'm happy that my phone's basically all set up I'm gonna go home now and actually probably do it you know that's that I'm gonna go home finish packing set my phone up and then I'm gonna head to the airport. I think we're leaving. We're leaving his house at like 12. Alrighty guys, I've showered. I am just about to finish getting ready now. I'm wearing this active wear set from Crop Shop Boutique to the airport. I washed my um, shoes last night. They look so nice and clean. Hi honey, how you going? I love you. I'm just gonna fix up my face like just a little bit. This is that new concealer that I got today. Well, I mean, I've used it before. I just needed a new one because um, I've used up all mine. I feel like with the Kosas concealer, I just go through it so quickly. Also, I feel like it dries out quickly too. Like, and I definitely shut it properly. Like I don't leave it open. I don't let air into the package this concealer is the best if you want concealer that looks like skin like even when you don't have foundation or anything on it literally just like blends into your skin like an absolute dream and it looks like you don't have makeup on so that's why i really love it it reminds me of the maybelline fit me concealer but it's just that little bit better so yeah i'm just gonna um put a little bit of mascara on and also just brush up my brows quickly and then I'll be ready to go. There we have it. There's the finished look. Um, I'm just going to close out the vlog here. I really hope you guys have enjoyed watching. And I'll see you on my next one. Bye.